I'm a realtor and I can't afford coaching. What do I do? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Rosemary Lewis, your real estate bestie. And today I am going to share with you some things that you can do if you cannot quite pay for real estate coaching just yet. But before I get into it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel to make sure that you get all the updates when we post videos. And give your girl a thumbs up because I hope that this video, as a matter of fact, I know this video will be helpful for you. And I wish someone would have just broken it down for me like this when I first started. Very first thing that I wanna say is absolutely no shade. It takes a while, okay? And I don't care what it looks like on Instagram or on social media. It takes a while to get to two places in real estate. The number one place is where you are having and getting consistent income. And then where that income is so consistent that you are able to not only um, financially invest, but mentally invest in a coach. So I definitely want to preface this video to say that I by no means think that what I am going to share with you will replace the valuableness or is that a word? <laughs> it won't replace how valuable it is to get direct coaching from the right coach. Okay. However, I know that that's not in everyone's budget initially, or you're just looking for some supplements to help you along the way. Um, because I definitely think that in this culture, a lot of times people think that we should get everything for free, but there is a mindset shift when we actually begin to invest in ourselves. So um, initially, some of us can't make that financial investment, but the things that I'm going to share with you today will help you get some immediate coaching to help you along the way. So let's talk about it. Now, the fact that you are even here with me on YouTube lets me know that you are already tapped into the very first thing that I am going to suggest. And that is y'all literally the power of YouTube. Um, YouTube has been a game changer for me, not when I just look for experts in my real estate business, but honestly, when I want to try to figure out how to do something in life, YouTube is one of my very first go-tos and YouTube is full of people who are doing amazing things in the real estate business and they are freely giving information to help support you. Quite honestly, that is why I started my YouTube channel. When I started to gain success as a real estate agent and I figured out that it wasn't necessarily hard, but it was about being consistent and the fact that a lot of agents don't have access to the right education, that is why I started this channel and I am just one of many people who are going to be able to pour into you and into your business. So definitely, if you can't do anything else, like I have hundreds of videos that you can look at, but there are other people that are sharing about how to lead generate, how to host open houses, like any topic that you're looking for, you're going to be able to find it on YouTube to at least give you some ideas. Now I will say, that it's not hard, like you don't have to go to YouTube college in order to have a YouTube channel. So definitely um, use discernment and who you are taking advice and coaching for from. Um, but this is definitely a wonderful platform to help you learn a plethora of things. The next thing that I'm gonna suggest y'all is that you start reading books. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you, um, this is a little embarrassing, but I'm just going to be honest because I know that you all are my real estate besties and you're probably in my same boat. I was such an avid reader. Like I was one of those kids that reading was my jam more than math growing up. And I read all the time, but something happened in adulthood that I stopped reading. Like I used to read for pleasure. I stopped reading for pleasure and I definitely stopped reading to learn. But in your business, you are doing yourself a disservice if you are not picking up books. And here is the real kicker, is that most of the top coaches, the top people that are in the top of their field, and I'm not just talking about real estate, I'm talking about mindset, I'm talking about parenting, I'm talking about um, entrepreneurship, I'm talking about marketing. The top people in all of these fields, a lot of times they have written a book 
And the book literally outlines what they would coach with in a one-on-one -on -one session. Now, a book is really an indirect way to be coached, but I promise you, anything that you want to know in life can be found in a book. So I'm going to encourage you to start picking up books and start reading them. I have a personal goal to read 12 books a year, um, at least one book per month. And whether that's a physical book or an audio book, we want to definitely open ourselves up to the world of knowledge that is literally so accessible to us. Speaking of which, being accessible, the next thing that I'm gonna encourage you to do is to start listening to podcasts. Podcasts were the first way that I began to make my car a classroom when I got into real estate, and then it evolved to both podcasts and audiobooks. So what I did, y'all, was I literally typed in like real estate, and there were different podcasts. You know, you get to, I kind of got to date the host to see what podcasts I resonated with, which one sounded like something that I could learn from, because you can't learn from every single teacher. They're gonna have a style that may not resonate with you but podcasts have been a game changer and have really helped me think differently, not just about real estate, but about mindset, about the way I market, about the way that I show up. And if you were not already aware, we have a podcast. So there is a real estate bestie podcast that is available to you um, that I would love to just have you pop me in your ear when you are working out or when you're headed to a listing appointment or when you're tidying up around the house. Every single week, we have a little bit more like girlfriend chat in the podcast and just encouraging you, but also giving you tangible tips that you can use in your business every single day. And I'm not the only person out there. So again, just like there are a lot of options on YouTube, there are a lot of options on podcasts. So if you've never tried podcasts before, I'm going to encourage you to do so. Okay, now here is the last way. And this one is a little bit more of a direct form of coaching, um, but it does not generally require an upfront investment. And that is maybe you need to consider joining a real estate team. Now, I know that a lot of people have opinions about teams. Um, sometimes you want to just do it all on your own. But let me tell you something. I have been on a team when I first started out as a team member and now I get the pleasure of leading a team. And there is something so magical about partnering with somebody who not only has done and accomplished what you are looking to do, but you can get the direct support, you can get the direct accountability, and you can get the direct coaching to help you become better. Now, I will tell you that all teams are not created equal, but whether you are a brand new agent who just is overwhelmed and you just don't even know where to get started, or if you're more seasoned, right, you've been in this business, but you've come to a crossroads where it's evident that you will be better in partnership, definitely don't discount a team and do your research to find the right one. Now I have a video I'm gonna link up right up here. It is the pros and cons of joining the team so that you can really do some soul searching to see if this is something that may make sense for you. Because while it is a great way to receive coaching, Joining the team is a commitment beyond just what you can get, but what you can bring to the culture of an organization. So you just wanna see if you are a good fit for a team. All right, now if you made it to the end of this video and you are not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing with your life, go ahead and subscribe. And y'all, I really want you to think about this coaching piece. Um, as I was preparing for this video, I thought to myself, you know, I was different from most children in the respect that I've never played formal sports. So I never really had a relationship with a coach until quite honestly, I got on the team. And then afterwards I've evolved to a coach that I invest in and I pay monthly to help me um, look at my business from a bird's eye view and to give me some accountability and to help me become better. I thought coaches were all about helping you win the game, but really coaches help you to expand your mental agility. Um, they help you um, become more flexible. They help you scale. There is just so much, so many benefits to having somebody as a coach. And quite honestly, I am always in pursuit. If I have any goal, right? Whether that be marital, whether that be in parenting, whether that be in my health journey, um, in my real estate journey, 
I am looking for ways that I can invest in systems that were created by people who have done what I am looking to do. And I have grown quickly because of those investments. So here we share some indirect ways that you can do that until you are financially able, but I'm very much going to encourage you when different programs, when different culture opportunities become available and you can make that sacrifice and that investment in yourself to absolutely do so. All right. I will talk to you next week. Bye y'all.